Well, this is my problem. We bought our house uh, with kitchen cabinets painted. As you can tell, they didn't do a very good job painting this, these cabinets. See? Let me see if you can see it. Very bad painting job. It looks like they painted over the grease, the grime, all the dirt. They didn't care. So what I want to do, I want to remove this paint and I already started doing this and now you can see the difference. I removed the paint from those drawers and I will show you how I do it. I use the brake fluid, <laughs> yes brake fluid, to remove the paint. Uh, okay, I will go outside and I will show uh, the setup I have and how I do it. Alright, this is the cabinet. I want uh, to remove the paint from the surface. And uh, I already secured it, it to my craftsman bench. And I will use the Pristone brake fluid. Probably you will ask why don't I use this special stuff. Yes, I do have the tough strip. It actually works the same, but uh, it says, let me see if you can, yes, it says 15 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, it works even faster. So when I try to remove the paint, it actually dries on me and I have to do it again and again. Anyways, it does work, but I prefer to use the brake fluid and I will show how I do it and also for this job you of course you are going to need the, uh, some kind of scraper that's what I have here and I have a foam brush and a container remove the cap from the brake fluid okay remove it and pour some into the container. That'll be enough. I will get a foam brush. You can see, tell that the brush is actually falling off of the handle, but it does work. Now, <coughs> we will do it like that. And I will cover all the paint with the brake fluid and I let it sit for probably 20-30 minutes and we will come back and we will see what will happen to the paint. I have a little bit change in plans. I have another drawer that I <coughs> covered with brake fluid at the same time. This one works much, much better, so I'm going to do this one, and I left this one, put it aside, and let it soak more. By now most of the paint has gone, uh, but there is still some left in the crevices and curves. So now I will show you how to remove the rest of it. For this operation I use steel wool, I don't know if you can see it, number 3 course. Alright, this is the finished product. 
some spots are still sticky, a little bit dirty. So I will hit it with a stone and call it a day. Thanks for watching.